If you're using PubSub and want to learn some best practices for patterns, experimentation, and testing, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Chloe, and in this video, I'll be sharing eight useful features to consider using when working with PubSub. Let's take a look. Number one, unique naming. When naming your PubSub resources, use unique names. Avoid deleting and recreating the same resources with the same name to avoid delays from cache staleness. Number two, avoid high fanout pattern. High fanout pattern, where you would have a large number of subscriptions, is not recommended as Cloud PubSub has a hard limit of 10,000 subscriptions. Number three, granular subscriber credentials. If you don't control all subscribers reading messages from your subscription, make use of granular subscriber credentials so you can more easily track who is consuming messages and control access using IAM policies. Number four, consistent throughput. PubSub works best with high throughput streams of data. If you need low delivery latency, but only have a low throughput stream of data, you may want to send small heartbeat messages to keep a topic warm. Number five, PubSub Emulator. To develop and test your application locally, you can use the PubSub Emulator, which provides local emulation of the production PubSub service. You can run the PubSub Emulator using the Google Cloud CLI. Number six, add labels. Add labels to your PubSub resources to break down your PubSub bill by label. You can break down your PubSub bill by label to help you organize your Google Cloud resources. Attach a label to each resource, then filter the resources based on their labels. Information about labels is forwarded to the billing system, allowing you to break down your billed charges by label. Number seven, consume messages by region. When possible, consume messages in the same region or in a nearby region as where they were published to minimize network egress charges. Number eight, retention duration. If you manage both topic and subscription and you have topic retention duration that is longer than subscription retention duration, you can remove subscription retention to save on storage costs. There you have it eight useful features to consider using when working with PubSub. Take a look at our PubSub documentation for even more tips and tricks. And check the description below for links to additional information, as well as step-by-step -step guides on the tools discussed in this video. We'll see you in the cloud.